Shall we create a problem in the story? Observe the picture properly and see what's happening. I have told you three simple principles of story writing. Download the SSB Short Shot app from Google Play Store to access courses for written exams like NDA, CDS, and FCAT. You can also find courses for SSB Personality Development and Spoken English. Apply the coupon code SIGNUP15 to get 15% off on your first purchase. Call us on 725-930-7111 for any queries. Yeah, an excellent question. Now, basically, what he's asking is, Ki shall, shall we create a problem in the story? Or shall we invent a problem? so that we can write a right story. Guys, let me tell you. I have told you three simple principles of story writing. In the TAT, observe the picture properly and see what's happening. Look at that. The picture which has been given to you is the most important part. Did you get that? Also, the second is what could have led to the situation. And the third and the most important is what is likely to happen with a solution. So your stories will naturally become positive. You people just try to put in the positivity in that picture. You don't have to. If your stories are solution oriented, they will automatically be positive. Now here, look at this. I was giving a guy who is to exactly as the question he asked, shall we create a problem? and then solve it in the story? Or shall we invent a problem? Guys, inventing the problem is really not required. Okay, you may look for a challenge in the picture. Now look at this. One of the candidate in one of the courses of ours, I remember still the boy was from Kerala. Can you believe out of the 12 stories, initially, you know, which we conduct the test here, in 12 stories, Oh my God, he created nine blasts. What does it mean? You know, any picture you give him, can you believe we had given a picture where a teacher is talking to the students? There was suddenly a blast. And after that, he will evacuate those who are injured to the hospital. There is, boys and girls are having a cup of tea in the college canteen. Suddenly, from the, under the table, there is a blast. My God. Can you believe out of the 12 stories, in nine blasts he carried out? What is he trying to do? Look at this. He's creating a problem which is just irrelevant to the picture. Look at this. So, and believe me, my psychologist came to me. Say, sir, something wrong with this boy. Look at this. He's created nine blasts. And can you believe? He told me, sir, there may be a blast in the academy. Oh my God, I also really got a little worried. And can you believe guys, when he went for the GTO task, we checked his luggage. Thank God there was no explosive or nothing of this sort. But look at this. And there was something wrong with the boy. In fact, the psychologist thereafter interviewed him and all that. So this is the way you guys create a problem. Create something which has got irrelevant picture in a happy scene where the boys and girls are enjoying somebody's birthday or maybe some discussion they are doing, you are creating a blast. Look at this. Anywhere you go, any picture where the people are there. I will give you another example. See, another guy. He will make, just to show off that he has got an army bent of mind, in every story he will bring the army. There is a guy who, again, I think eight to nine stories he had made about the army. Anything happening, whether it's a football match happening, in the football match, can you believe he will say, Sohan, who was an army soldier, was on leave. Or Captain So-and-so, who belongs to this district, he always used to participate in the district tournament. So during leave also, he came and he wanted to. Array? You give him any problem. Suppose somebody is helping someone, and you'll say he's an army man in the civil dress. Suppose he's threatening somebody, he's threatening a goon and he's an army man. 
He will put army everywhere. What are you trying to do? You are writing an unnatural story. You, your story has got nothing to do with the picture. You have not understood the picture. You are making a synthetic or a made up kind of stories. You are planting a story which has got nothing to do with the picture, guys. Please don't do that. Just to show off your military bent of mind, you can't make every story army type. Please keep that in mind. There are numerous such examples I can give you. Okay, be careful as we go ahead. I will tell you what are the common mistakes which the candidates do and how you can avoid these common mistakes in story writing particularly. So dear candidates, another grave mistake which the candidates do is making impractical stories, very idealistic kind of stories, which has got nothing to do with the picture. Look at this, I will tell you, in one of the picture, which is very common and these kind of mistakes are commonly made by the candidates, you must have seen that. A woman in a happy state, in a colorful dress, talking to his son who is also smiling, the son is around 18-20 years old. And look at this, the stories, numerous types of stories, some people make good stories on that also. Those who have observed the picture properly and who are making a relevant kind of story. But look at this. Some of the candidates totally go off the mark. How? Here is a woman talking to his son. She's in a happy state. But look at this. Can you believe nearly 60% of the candidates make that woman as a widow? How the hell they know that the woman is a widow? Tell me. How do they know the woman is a widow? She's in a happy state. In a colorful dress and talking to the son. Look at this. The husband may be out somewhere, maybe in the office, maybe for some work, but somehow. And on top of that, look, one of the guy had made this story. Even you will, people will laugh at it. So look at the story which some of the candidates, why some of the candidates, nearly 50% of the candidates make stories like this. Suresh today got his first pay. He was very happy. After getting his first pay, he came out of his office. And he saw a beggar and he gave his entire pay to the beggar. He came home, he said, Mama, I have given my first pay to a beggar. And her mother said, well done, son, you are a wonderful son and your father would have been very proud of you. Look at this. Is it practical? And actually the psychologist will laugh at this kind of mentality. What are you trying to show? You are trying to be very idealistic. You are trying to be very impractical. Actually, such guys are the ones who will never even give a penny. In fact, had he given in 500 rupees, I mean 1000, I could have accepted. But is it practical? So guys, stop doing, you know, writing such impractical, unrelated stories, which have got nothing to the actual picture. And how do, do you know that the woman is a widow? I can give you numerous of such examples which you guys do. So please ensure that the three rules of story writing which I have told you and if you practice keeping these three points in your mind I can assure you naturally your subconscious will learn the art of writing the right kind of stories thank you don't forget to subscribe to our new channel SSB Short Short Plus for exclusive new videos also follow us on Instagram for all the latest updates check out a short short guide to crack SSB on Amazon the link is in the description below